This is a separated circuit, and this is how it would typically arrive. There's a lot of parts in here, so we thought a video might be helpful to show what the parts are. This comes with the separated circuit. It's just basic instructions. And now these are the parts. These are the lights. Without the circuit attached, these lights are only able to handle three volt. So if you want to just test them, I would suggest you use a three volt battery like a coin cell or a nickel battery, that type of battery. This piece is a connector that goes to the lights. It has a socket type end, we call it a female end. This piece has the pins. It also has a bridge rectifier, a resistor, a capacitor. It has everything you need to run these lights on 18 volt AC, DC, or DCC power. If you look closely here, you can see there's a red dot on this side of it, which plugs in to the red wire. If you were to plug it in this way, nothing would happen, the lights wouldn't light. If you plug it in this way, you've got the red dot lined up with the red wire. But before I plug it in, I want to attach my lights. You'll notice that these wires are two different lengths. That's so that they don't accidentally short each other. They're physically separated to keep the electricity from jumping across. So you'll notice I have two lights here and only one pin connector. You can actually hook up to four lights to here and they'll be nice and bright. On our site, we sell single lights for the separated, but you could actually hook more than one to it. Before I do this, I'd wanna add shrink tube. We include two pieces of shrink tube, just again, so that we don't accidentally short and cause a short on the power supply. All right, so we twist the wires together. You wanna to twist them pretty firmly. Make sure that they don't disconnect. So you can see I'm twisting it a lot. They won't break or anything. All right, slip on your shrink tube. You can heat the shrink tube with a heat gun or a lighter or even a hair dryer. Any heat source, really. Twist this one on. Same thing, apply the shrink tube. All right, so now these lights are basically attached to a socket. I would line this up this way, so I have red to red. These two ends go to my 18 volt, or basically anything 10 to 19 volt AC, DC, or DCC.